Hey love, so in this video I am going to be talking about how to manifest a specific person. So this could be a business person, um, a client, it could be someone paying for your course, anything like that. You just have a person that you need to take a certain action, whether they need to call you to tell you you got the job, whatever the case may be. The biggest thing is to get rid of the thought of free will. No one has free will. You manifest what you want all the time. Everything is you pushed out. You are a mirror of whatever you believe to be true. So for example, you have to take your power back. You need to understand who you are and understand that your will will manifest. It really will. You just have to understand your belief system and you have to take away the free will of other people and you have to take your power back. The reason why I say take your power back is because whenever someone doesn't receive what they want from an SP, it's because of the fact that they gave them all the power. You're putting this person on a pedestal. And my advice to all of you guys is don't put anybody on a pedestal. Do not put your spouse on a pedestal, your kids on a pedestal. Well, you should because, you know, they're kids, but you get where I'm coming from. Don't put things on a pedestal to the point where you cannot attain them. And that's the problem a lot of time when people are like, I cannot get my SP to do this. I cannot get my boss to do this. I cannot. When you're at that point, it's because of the fact that you gave your power away. Go get your stuff back. And how you do that is by reminding yourself of who you are. You can listen to subliminals at night that help you build self-worth. You can listen to subliminals at night that make you more confident and more in love with who you are. When you can look at yourself in the mirror and you like what you see, not just because you're beautiful, outside but what you really just understand who you are and understand what makes you who you are that's a whole nother level of taking your power back because you're not giving it to anyone you're not making anyone be better than you nothing's better than you that's what you should be telling yourself so to do that you have to do robotic affirming and i think i've talked about robotic affirming on my channel already i do need to do another video about how uh, robotic affirmations can be helpful because the power of the tongue is powerful that's why it's called spelling when you spell a word it's called spelling you are putting spells out into the universe with whatever you say whatever you say no matter how serious or joking you are about it and when you start recognizing that you say a lot of negative self-talk like oh I'm not all that or oh that person doesn't like me or oh this is really just all I have now you know for my money I'm probably not gonna have more later you know when you put these things out there I'm broke that kind of shit you're gonna manifest that it is what it is you you're controlling that so whether you were joking whether you were just side talking, that is something the universe is picking up on and it's going to give you more of that. So what you should be saying is I'm rich, I'm wealthy, everybody loves to talk to me, I am the topic of discussion all the time, the room always gravitates to me, people always gravitate to me. Say things that are going to align you with what you're manifesting. And so if you're having a struggle with, you know, manifesting your SP, you got to get your power back. That's the first thing. Work on you. And I used to hate when people would say that when I would watch manifestation videos at the beginning of learning how to manifest. But what it means is not that you're not focusing on your desire because your desire is part of that. But if you don't love yourself, if you don't have some type of attraction to who you are, what makes you you, you're not going to be able to get somebody else to be attracted or drawn in or think you're the best candidate for the job, whatever the situation is for you. You're not going to get that if you don't feel that about yourself. So yeah, there needs to be a certain amount of confidence there. Some people say ego. I say confidence because ego is a little bit different, I believe. It's just, it's not the same. Confidence is knowing who you are and knowing regardless of what happens, whether you, the manager didn't text you back or not, whether you waited 40 days for them to freaking contact you about the money, but they didn't. Whatever the situation may be, you got to remember that like, yo... I set the stage, you know, this is my life. This is, a, everything's a mirror of my life. People still to this day wonder why they have deja vu. I think you have deja vu because this is your story. This is what you are creating. And so if there's something that is being resisted and you're like, oh my gosh, why can't I manifest this? You can't because you have not got your power back first. That's the most important thing, realizing who you are. When you feel worthy of something, you will then be able to gain that something, okay? So 
you have struggles with manifesting who you are and ha loving who you are, then you need to do things like listen to meditation music when you're sleeping that remind you of who you are, affirmations that tell you who you are, like I'm beautiful inside and out. I am a great person. People gravitate to me. I have a captivating effect. Uh, my aura draws people in. When you say things like that and you're doing it on a consistent basis, it's going to materialize. And that's why robotic affirming is so powerful because you can say every day, whether you believe it or not, that I always make money every day or money comes to me easily every day or it comes to me consistently. I always am able to keep a lot of money. I always have more than enough. Whether you are in it or not, whether your feelings are there or not, when you're saying and speaking this over your life, it's going to create itself. It just is. You don't need emotion for that. And I think that's the thing people forget. People always want to talk about, even me, I've done this on my channel about how powerful emotion is. It is. It's powerful. But not every day you're going to be able to get yourself in that emotion. There might be a point where that will become an everyday thing and you're just happy all the time. And that's going to be great. That's what people will call bliss, living in bliss. But if you're not quite there yet, just affirm. Affirm regardless of how you feel. Ignore 3D circumstance. And when you ignore 3D, you're able to be more delusional and you're able to manifest what it is you want very quickly. So if you're having any struggles or you feel like you're having any struggles, one, you've got to stop focusing on the 3D. It doesn't matter. And just because someone's doing something now doesn't mean that they're going to be doing that three months from now. But if you believe that to be true, oh, this person's doing this now, the 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 job is not going to call me now, and they're not going to call me later if I reapply, then that's what you're going to get. You have to see how you feel about you. Take your power back. Then stop focusing on 3D circumstance and start focusing on your delusion. Keep the delusion going. And keep those affirmations flowing. So although your energy levels may be down on some days, if you're affirming every day, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because <laughs> you're still affirming. That counts for something. All right. So let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if this helps you manifest an SP. Tell me what your circumstance has been with that. See, I want you guys to be able to have each other's back on my channel. I want you guys to be there for each other. So if any of my videos help, let me know because it really helps my channel. Also like the video if you could. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and I wish you guys a wonderful day. Thank you reoccurring viewers. I love you guys. You guys are soul gems and I, I'm sending you guys just lots of love, lots of light, lots of happiness, lots of sunshine. Wisha, wisha, wisha. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day.